yeah, you know, you know, I saw the the articles about um, Diego Chavez fighting uh, Kell Brook, right? And um, the first thing I thought was like, damn, you know, Diego Chavez got is so good, man. Like he could just be home chilling with his family, you know, and he always gets a phone call for a good fight, you know, a good name, a good opponent. And he hasn't even won since he stepped up. He hasn't even won a fight since he stepped up and fought Keith Thurman. You know, I mean, with a a a a a, a good fighter. You know, he lost to Thurman. He lost, got stopped by Thurman. Okay, they were both undefeated at the time. And he gave Thurman a pretty good fight. You know, it wasn't the stoppage wasn't early. It was late in the fight, but it was a good fight. It was a very good fight. Two undefeated guys with punching powers, good punching ratios. It was a good fight. And then, um, you know, he went on back to Argentina, I believe, and fought some random guy. And he comes back and fight Brandon Rios. A fight that I thought he was winning, but it was a close fight. And gets disqualified. Okay, he gets disqualified. And that fight. And then he has an ugly fight with Tim Bradley where headbutts were involved. And um, they scored it a draw. Most people thought Bradley won the fight and got robbed. Uh, I wouldn't call it a robbery, but I do think Bradley won that fight. But I do definitely think uh, Bradley looked bad in that fight. And I think the headbutt definitely affected him because Bradley had like a big knot on the side of his face. But, you know, let's, let's get back to the point, man. You know, Kell Brook fighting Diego Chavez. And, you know, I'm disappointed in Brook because I, I really think he's 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 really talented. You know, and I think he's gotten better since that Carson Jones fight, that first fight they had. And, you know, I really want him to fight the guys, the best guys. You know, I mean, it's not his fault. Amir Khan doesn't want to fight him, but... Outside of Amir Khan, in a sense, right? And I know it's not as bad, right? But in a sense, isn't he the same way with Amir Khan? Like Amir Khan is with Floyd Mayweather? Like he's not... He got the title from Sean Porter, good win. I thought he won the fight. I thought the fight was close, but... I, I was pretty much edging it for Brooke for the majority of the rounds in that fight. But ever since then, you know, he got stabbed in the leg and he comes back to fight, fight JoJo Dan. Like, you know, a fight like, like let's see if he's back, you know, to see if he's, he's still good, you know. His first fight back since the injury. And, um, you know, he beats jo, JoJo Dan. He stops, in that, stops him in that fight. And he goes on to fight Frankie Gavin. A guy that was his mandatory and a skilled boxer. Frankie Gavin's a better fighter than JoJo Dam in my, in my opinion, but he just lacks the punching power. Um, you know, he he lacks the aggression and, and the uh, the punching power. And you know, Kel Brook Cruz drew him too. You know, beat him up and stopped him as well. And now we get Diego Chavez. And you got to remember, you got to keep in mind that Kel Brook is the IBF champion. And if you go and look at the rankings here, right? Diego Chavez was supposed to have a, a a title eliminated with Devin Alexander, all right? But if you get if you get the fight with Kell Brook himself, why fight Devin Alexander? You know, you rather fight the champ. And you know the funnier thing about that title elimination fight is that Saddam Ali is ranked higher. Than both of them in the IBF. Now I don't know what's going on with Saddam Ali, and you guys can fill me in if you know, because the last time I saw Saddam Ali, he beat this guy Santana on HBO, and uh, they were leading up to him finding the winner of Jesse Vargas and Tim Bradley because he's ranked in the WBO pretty high too, and. Uh, I seen an article on boxing scene, I believe, that said Saddam Ali wanted one more fight before he fought the winner of Bradley and Vargas. This is before Bradley won that fight. And ever since that, 
I've never, I haven't heard of anything from Saddam Ali. But my thing is, Saddam Ali is up there in the IBF, even over Devin Alexander and Diego Chavez. And not for nothing, I would rather have seen that fight or the Devin Alexander fight over Diego Chavez. Because Diego Chavez hasn't won a fight with a notable, a, a, a named fighter or a guy that's done anything, you know? He lost to Thurman, got stopped, and he had a draw with Tim Bradley and got disqualified against Brandon Rios, regardless if he was doing well. And, and, and you know what? The fight isn't a bad fight because Diego Chavez is a pretty good fighter. You know, he's good, but can he beat anyone? Clearly, without it being an ugly, dirty fight, can he do it? I don't know if he can do it. We haven't seen it yet, but he's getting a title shot with Kell Brook. What has he done to get this shot over Devin Alexander, a guy that Kell Brook was supposed to fight three times? And a fight that I still wouldn't mind seeing. You know, because at the time when they were supposed to fight, I wasn't sure if Kell Brook could beat Devin Alexander. I mean, I, I'm a little bit, I'm leaning, if they fight, I'm leaning towards Kell Brook. I think Kell Brook would win the fight, but I'm a little bit more interested in that fight because it was supposed to happen already. Okay, and Devin Alexander is a former IBF title holder. Okay. And I know he beat Sean Porter, the guy, Devin Alexander, but I don't care about the triangle thing. I, I don't care about the triangle theory, theory and all that. I don't, I don't care about that. Is that I would have rather see that fight. I would have rather see Saddam Ali. What's up with Saddam Ali? Why couldn't he fight him? You know, the kid is undefeated. You know, it's a good fighter coming up. A guy that hasn't lost anyone, been stopped. As some of the guys, you know, Diego Chavez got stopped. You know what? Let's get straight to it. All right, let's skip all of this stuff with who's mandatory and stuff like that. Diego Chavez, a guy that's been losing, getting draws and getting disqualified, is getting better fights than Keith Thurman. Okay? He's getting better fights than the guys that he lost to. He is. You know, Keith Thurman... Can't get Kell Brook in the ring for nothing. He can't get Tim Bradley in the ring. He can't get Amir Khan in the ring. He can't get any of these guys in the ring. He can't get Porter in the ring. Get, he can't get Floyd in. He can't get any of these guys in the ring. He's constantly calling them out. Yet Diego Chavez, a guy that he stopped, is getting Tim Bradley, Brandon Rios, and Kell Brook. Diego Chavez is the man. Him, the only person that got it better than him is uh um what's this guy's name? Ah, oh, I cannot I can't remember. Oh, oh Gabe Rosado. Gabe Rosado is the only fighter that got it better than him because Gabe Rosado get big fights after loss, after loss, after loss. He's always gonna get big fights and he's getting movie roles now. Alright, he's in Creed. He's getting movie roles and big fights and big money for fights. And he keeps losing. And then you get Diego Chavez, a guy that gets, and within four fights, he gets Bradley, Rios, Thurman, and four fights. And he didn't win against, he didn't win against Thurman, Rios, or Bradley. And now he's getting. Kell Brook. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. What is Kell Brook doing? What is he doing? You know, he you know, it's messed up because I feel like he, he got the title and now he's just hiding out over there in the UK. He's over there, he doesn't want to fight anybody over here unless it's Amir Khan. He's doing the same thing Amir Khan is doing with Floyd Mayweather. He's taking easier opponents until he gets his big fight. The only difference is his big fight is with Amir Khan, not Floyd Mayweather. You know, he's not really focused on that fight. He's more talking about Amir Khan. So I don't like the fight. 
And that since I don't like the fight. The fight itself isn't bad, but Kell Brook should win that fight because Bradley, he couldn't be Bradley, couldn't be Rios, he couldn't be Thurman. You know, and I don't think there's anything that Diego is going to bring stylistically to Kell Brook that Kell Brook hasn't seen before. It might be a good fight, but there's other fighters out there. Why is he fighting him? You know? Oh, so you're not going to fight Khan, but you're not going to fight anybody else that's relevant in the division. Give Sean Porter a rematch before fighting Diego Chavez. At least Sean Porter beat Adrian Broner. At least he's coming off that win. At least he was an IBF champion, like Devin Alexander was. At least Saddam Ali is undefeated. Why is he fighting Diego Chavez? Why didn't he fight Tim Bradley? I'm starting to believe that Kell Brook is a ducker. I'm starting to believe it. The proof is on. The proof is there. I'm starting to believe he's a ducker. There's no other way to explain it. Why is he fighting Diego Chavez? Why? Why? What did Ch What did Chavez do? These guys, oh, man, this sport is crazy to me. I don't even know how I'm a fan of this sport. And, and I like Kell Brook, and I think he's talented. You know what? And I made a video recently, and I was like, you know, not for nothing, but he might be able to beat Keith Thurman. He might be the one to do it. You know, he might be the one to do it. I'm not sure if Keith Thurman could beat him, you know? I think he might be able to beat a lot of guys at 147. But he's not giving himself the credit. He doesn't want to challenge himself. He's fighting Frankie Gavin and, and JoJo Dan and Diego Chavez's and stuff like that. When it's out there, this fight is out there and there's no promotional issues because Eddie Hearn is cool with everybody. He's good with Al Heyman. He's good with Aram. He's good. He, he's good in both networks. There should be no problem with him getting a fight with Tim Bradley or Saddam Ali or Devin Alexander or Keith Thurman. I don't know what's up with Kell Brook, man, but the way he's looking like right now, I don't even blame Khan for not fighting him because Khan is saying, why should I fight you? Who'd you fight besides Sean Porter? Who did you fight? The resumes don't compare. And as long as Kell Brook is still sitting around, because people, if anybody ever criticized Kell Brook, it was because he wasn't fighting nobody. He was afraid to get outside of the UK and fight some real fighters. So when people was criticizing him back then, and people that didn't think he was going to win the Sean Porter fight, it was usually because of that reason. They wanted him to get out and really fight a tough fight. A top fighter. He went and did that one time. Fought Sean Porter. Good. Good for him. He won the fight. You know? But now it's like, all right, well, he's went back to fighting the same type of fighters again now that he has the title. So now we back and like, all right, well, maybe Kel Brook don't really want to fight nobody. Maybe he wants to hide out over there and just take his little fights over there. And just hold on to the title as long as he can. Maybe that's what he wants to do. I don't know. All right, so I'm done, yo. Diego Chavez is the man. I'm not hating on Diego Chavez because he's sitting back and he's getting good fights without having to really do nothing. He's always going to get a phone call. People want to fight him for some reason. I mean, he, he, he's not winning, but people want to fight him. Top fighters. Bradley, you know, Bradley, Thurman. You know, Thurman was good. Thurman was a fight that only made sense because both of those guys were both undefeated. So And they're both coming up. So that's the only fight that made sense. You know, Brandon Reels, you know, he was coming off of his loss and he wanted a, you know, all right, it made sense. Tim Bradley came off of a loss, but Tim Bradley don't belong in the ring with Diego Chavez. He's in a different class and the fight was an ugly fight, but Tim Bradley's in a different class as Diego Chavez. But now you get in the champion. What's Kel Brook's excuse? Kel Brook ain't coming off no loss. And he's not a prospect. He is the IBF champion. Can you imagine Diego Chavez won this fight? He would be the IBF champion. Diego Chavez. There's Floyd. 
There's Bradley, who's the WBA. Oh, that's another reason why the Bradley fight should have happened because that would have been a unification match. Because Bradley is the WBO champ now. So you got Floyd as the lineal champ, and you got Diego Chavez? <laughs> it's comedy, man. All right, I'm out.